Hello and welcome back to me playing Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Amn. Yeah, I'm saying it like it was like yesterday, last episode. Yeah, it was pretty much like two months ago or something. I don't remember. At any rate, I'm gonna fix this because uh, I just I I never quit let's playing. Don't worry, I never stop playing games I started. So I want to finish this game, of course. Uh, the enhanced edition of the first Baldur's Gate is coming the 18th of. Uh, September. I will be playing it with a very dear friend of mine. Um, and yeah, I, I will be recording it and I will be uploading some videos here and there. I don't know when. Probably as soon as the game is released. At any rate, it has been such a long while that I decided that to change the rules of Let's Playing for me. Baldur's Gate videos now enter the competition, I mean, the same wavelength of the Binding of Isaac videos. So basically they're gonna be fewer, but longer. I'm planning on around half an hour to one hour length, so just you know. Why? Because the resolution is any... Forgive me when I want to commit suicide as soon as I see the name Aerie. Ugh. Ugh. I'm one of those, yes. I am one of the Aerie haters. Wines, whining, whining! <laughs> the horror! <laughs> the horror! Okay. Uh, I'm not about to believe a foul creature such as yours. Oh, wait. What? No, no, no. Uh, I'm not going anywhere until I get an explanation. Oh, I hope you don't end up like like the others. But alright. My name is Avery. That's my sweet voice, by the way. I work in the circus with my uncle, Quail. Ah, that's a name we know. Actually, no, we, di we didn't really talk to him in Baldur's Gate 1. Anyway, I don't know exactly what happened, but everything changed a few days ago. Everything became chaos and turned into what you see here. Although it all isn't real, it's an illusion. What? The minions, they all say that they serve Kala, so I believe he's behind all of this. He's an illusionist in the circus, but I don't understand how he was able to do all of this. Exclamation mark. He must be stopped! Exclamation mark. Before he hurts any more people! Exclamation mark. Please, if if you release me from my chains, I can help you stop him! Exclamation mark. Uh, why can I just... Can I not just dispel the, the illusion of this place? I don't know, I tried it earlier. When this first happened, Kala's spells are too powerful somehow. He's he's never been that good though, so I don't know what he's done. If you free me though, together we can find a way. To, uh, we can find out and stop him. Exclamation mark, and and hopefully rescue my uncle Quail. Oh, <clears throat> how do I release you then? You need a key to this chains, but I blah blah blah. Okay. Don't be fooled by the illusions, though. They are monsters! Exclamation <laughs> mark. They have a sword which actually... Which is actually my key. If you get it from them, I can remove the chains and regain my normal form! Exclamation mark. But please be careful! Exclamation mark. You can never trust anything you see here! Exclamation mark. Be, be it as it may, I exactly know. Did we talk to the kid outside? It has been such a long while that I don't remember. The spider is, uh, I think, the mother. Yeah, this is the mother of the of the kid outside. What's going on? Blah 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 blah. Shut up! I must leave you now for now. Bye bye. So. Let us let us do this. Uh, see these two guys, no, the only normal guys, are in fact illusions. I think that if I detect traps with Yoshimo... No, they might not be recognized, okay. Maybe his detect illusion is that bad. Uh, yeah, his detect illusion is zero, what's mine? Zero, perfect. We're that good. A lot has happened ever since last time. Uh, a lot of info on Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Here be the key. Here be a note. Not really. It's a friend spell. Anyway, a lot has happened. A lot of been uh, of news has been released. Then I did something crazy. I completed Baldur's Gate in uh, 24 hours, and I didn't play 24 hours. I played for like six or eight hours, and. Uh, 
give it to me and, and I can be rid of this illusionary form at last. Yes, yes. I thank you for your trust. This sword is actually a key that unlocks the chains that powers my horrible illusion. There you go. I want you as an orc again. Can can I have you as an I mean ogre, please? Can you turn back? <clears throat> Wait here then. I will go further into the citadel and will come back later. Beware! Not all things here are illusions. Close your eyes and strike back only if it hurts you. Oh, bring Quail back safely, would you? He has been very good to me. Okay. We will do that. Orcish girl. Welcome to... Lord. <coughs> Sorry. Welcome, Lord, to Kalath realm. Be thee not to of impure mind, for surely Lord Kalau shall destroy thee. Be thee not of impure heart, or thou wilt surely destroy thyself. Kala is the one ruler, the one true being. Thank you for your welcome, and I shall most certainly beware. Kala's blessing upon thee, Lord. Alright, so Kala here is the Lord, the God, whatever you want to call him. So, where is Kala? Um, Jesus. As you can see, the werewolf hit me, but he didn't really uh, damage me, so that's something good, right? Now, what do we have? Um, well, Tuck. Attack. No, I, I can't really attack them. The shadows are immune to plus one weapon, so Yoshimo and uh, Minsk can attack them. Yoshimo leveled up? When did that happen? Let's level him up, shall we? Did he get... Wait a second. Yeah, he's level 10, so he gains two health per level, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see, what shall we set him on? Okay, open locks, move silent fun fine traps is one hundred percent. I will put on No, I don't need open I mean I'm I'm a better thief than he is. I want him to set traps. I mean he's a bounty hunter and stuff, so he's the guy that sets traps. I mean I think I can detect traps. Fine traps and open locks is one hundred percent, so that's okay. I can set traps better I mean, I'm a better thief in every single way than he is. Anyway, Yoshimo attack that guy. Uh, Minsk attack that guy. I will just... Hang around. Do nothing. Uh, did I customize their script? Uh, nope. None. There. Customize script? None. There. Okay, doke, so I've been thinking about... Uh, never mind the werewolves, they don't really hurt. They shouldn't, actually. Um, so, uh, un un unless you attack them, if you attack them then uh, you're basically screwed yourself up. At any rate, uh, I've been thinking about my party layout and I need some... Just hang around, don't worry, everything's fine. Yes, yes. So I've been thinking about my party layout. For the moment I will have these three guys plus another two. Which are gonna be a healer. Hey there, mate. Congratulations, Lauren! Kala is most amused by your progress! You may yet leave as long as you continue to provide such entertainment. Are you ready to proceed? I am ready to proceed. You do show some courage. Gothen! Bye! Have a nice one. Okay, so we go in. Yoshimo, can you be a bit faster? Thank you. Okay. So, what else? What else? Oh. Well done, my friend. Oh, wait. Yeah, he speaks. <laughs> really? Yes. It is indeed beginning now. Okay, so Lauren will attack that guy while Minsk and Boo and Yoshimo will take care of Mr. Shadows here. Let's do this! Uh, is it all possible? Can Yoshimo survive the drain ability? Yeah, yeah, it is I, Quail! Some of the beasts are illusions and some are real. Don't attack the illusions! If you attack the illusions, you'll have acknowledged them and their damage will become real to you. That's why we aren't attacking them! Lauren might die. Just 
kill the shadows so that I gain the experience points and I don't lose anything, okay? Thanks. How is Yoshima doing with his strength? 13, perfect. 11, perfect, okay. Everybody on Kala on no! charge! No, I didn't die, I succeeded. What has passed here, gnome? Are you re you replaced the circus with some your personal playground playgrounds? Why do I speak like an old man? You fool! You you truly know nothing. I am Kava, an illusionist. I was made a clown mage for the pleasure of the tall folk. You mean the humans, elves, and everything that is taller than a gnome? But I beated my time, and I was promised. World, I could rule. He damned. A mage is a criminal, and a gnome is a spectacle. In this tent, my in my world, Kala was the master, where none would dare to laugh. What of the circular employees, Kala? What have you done with all those that have disappeared into his tent? Indifference killed those fools from the circus. I treat them in death as they were to me in life. A gnome gets no respect. I just wanted people to look up to me. All that I have done. Oh, Uncle Creel, you're okay. Hopefully you'll die. Ha! I knew Kala would trip over himself eventually. I'm just pleased he despised me enough to play with me rather than dispose of me like some of the others. What? Why would I ever do? What would I ever do without you? I, I think you need to find out, my dear. Um, I've taught you everything I can. It's time, Mary. Time for you to learn the rest on your own. You're the wisest and the smartest and the kindest man I'll ever know. <sighs> she's all. She's also. He's also the only man that he, she'll ever know. I wasn't always, my dear. You changed that, but I can't keep with keep you here, Lauren. You can provide for her better than I. Perhaps you will take her with you? Uh, uh, no! No! There is no room for her at my side, right now at least. Perhaps another time. Now I'm gonna take her just to steal her items and then abandon her. You would? You would have me travel with you? I would love to, but... Oh, Quail, I would miss you! Exclamation mark. Then you shall have to come and visit me from time to time and tell me what you've learned. Go. Go with my blessings, girl. Alright. Take take care of the circus while I'm away. Oh, don't worry about me. If you find happiness, maybe the pain of losing your wings will be lessened. Nothing would please me more. Be well, my Airy. <sighs> Alright, let's go then, Airy. No! Oh, no! Oh. Give me that robe and disappear. Now, she is a cleric mage. She has a lot of experience points, doesn't she? Way more than I have. 120,000 more, in fact. 130,000 more than Minsk. And 170,000 more than Yoshima himself. She is the potentially strongest character in the game. She has improved haste! She won't be able to use it until level 12 mage, I believe, but... Improved haste is a big thing. It's a really big thing. Should I take her? She doesn't have normal haste, though. She can be useful, though, because she's also a cleric and her wisdom and intelligence stats are not that horrible. So she can replace basically two... She can act as two party members all in one. 
that's my reasoning right now. I hope I scroll here. Uh, let me see, let me see. She doesn't have 5th level spells, but she has 4th, which is of course Holy Power, which which makes up for her low strength and makes her much better as a fighter. There is an item in the game that raises your constitution to 18 for a period of time. I think you get it in the Temple District, in a sub-quest there. Um, yeah, so Holy Power, Righteous Magic, which is a level 5 spell and draw upon holy might which is a level 2 spell combines together with tensor transformation from a mage improved haste and god knows what else pretty much makes cleric mages the strongest tank in the game so we could have her act as such if we so decided to besides she can also use this yeah, you know what it's it's the biggest mistake i could be doing right now in my life probably but i'm going to take her I'm that desperate. I'm gonna take Aerie with me. Oh my god, what the hell am I doing? Whatever. Take back your dirty robe and learn these spells, you ignorant bastard. Damn it. Yes, I will treat her badly all the way through the game, and I don't care. Which reminds me. How much slots do I have? One. I could take her the least. I should take her the list. Yeah, it's gonna work. You know, you were questioning yourself who the hell is her the list? Well, her the list is a guy that, if you have him in your party, will take care of Ari himself. So you don't have to romance her. He will romance her instead. And that is my reasoning. I am utterly disgusted by her romance. Sadly, I'm a half-elf, so I don't think Viconia likes me either. And the hair is, went already her own way, so I will never be able to romance her. So this is gonna be a no-romance let's play! Yay! What's her dexterity? 17, you suck, Harry. You suck so much. Now, what's the difficulty of the game? Is it on... Yeah, it's normal. The basic difference between core rules and normal is that in core rules you don't get... Uh, as you can see, that Baldur's Gate Rounds rule apply. While on normal, all hit points rolls are maximum, characters cannot permanently die, all spurs learned automatically, monsters do 3 quarters damage. Really? It sucks. I thought that they did normal damage on co or normal difficulty. Might as well fix it up one time. Ah! You tell me, if you're watching this right now, should I play on core rules? Let me just learn the crap out of these spells now. Fine, fine. This is the Ring of Human Influence. Raises Wilder's Charisma to 18. No, I don't know what my Charisma is. 12. Should I use it? I mean, it would make my mer mercantile skills much better. So, yeah, I'm gonna use it. I mean, I have a free slot, so for the moment, I'm gonna use it. Give the arrows to Yoshimo, goddammit. He's the one using bows. Oh, what else? Girl of Pursing. Um, I think I already have the Girl of Bluntiness, Blunting, or whatever it's called. I'm gonna give these gloves to Aerie, because they're Bracer of Defense Armor, plus 8. Piercing means short swords and daggers. But it doesn't mean ranged weapons, that's missile weapons. Um, Minsk is gonna get it, because Minsk is the second tank I have in my party. Throw this sword away, you don't need it, Minsk. What else, what else, what else? Uh, that's pretty much it, right? Um, you will be the pant carrier, Airy, from this moment forward. You can take also this gem, why not? This. Throw that stuff away. You don't want to go melee, you got it. Script, none. Perfect. Done. Okay. Sorry, I'm setting up my party. I, I know it takes a bit of time, but still. I want to be as, pos as plausibly... Wait, is this? I had a magical weapon all along! I forgot! Oh, man! That's horrible news. Jesus Christ. She doesn't know what this spells. 
Cursed scroll of foolishness. This scroll is cursed. It would be unwise to read it, as the effects could prove fatal. Yeah, we'll throw it away. Now then, let's set her spells, shall we? Okie doke. She doesn't have chromatic orb. This is kind of a silly thing, but it's okay. Uh, put four of these guys for the moment. Uh, she doesn't have mirror images, which is kind of a weird combination of things. Now, web is super good in Baldur's Gate 1. Sadly, it's not that good in Baldur's Gate 2, so we're gonna stick with acid arrows because those can be pro those can prove useful sometimes. Here uh, we'll cancel everything and we'll buy haste from uh, the adventurer's mart. A minor globe of invulnerability is not pretty, but why have it when you can have improved invisibility? Uh, this is spell immunity. Could be useful. Could be very useful. Better than minor spell turn. What does this do already? This spell is to the 7th level spell turning, which causes the spell cast against the wizard to rebound upon the original caster. The effects this affects a total of four spell levels. Oh yeah, I know. Basically, it is a invulner. It is, it is like an invulnerability to spells, and the, the the spells go back to the original caster for a total of four levels. So meaning that if you cast a level three spell, you will get it back from a spell turned mage, and then this diminishes to one level of spell turning. So every spell as above the level 1 spell won't be turned. Got it? I hope you did! Alright. Is this Shadow Door? Um, yeah, it's indeed. It permits the wizard to appear to step through this door and disappear. In reality, he has darted the side and can flee totally invisible as per improved invisibility spare for the spell duration. A true seeing spell, a gem of seeing, or similar magical wanes can discover the wizard. Yes, so this is similar to um, improved invisibility. I don't really know which the difference is. I think that on both cases, I think this is better because it gives you, as, as you can see, attack against the invisible characters suffer minus four penalty to attack rolls, and the invisible character saving throws are made with a plus four bonus, which is insanely good and plus I think that improved invisibility can be cast on any party members while um, Shadow Door not. Shadow Door I think it's caster only. Might be wrong though. But for the moment spell immunity is okay I guess. So let's keep it that way. Let's go back now to the clerical spells. We will remove that. I will add this and two of these guys. Next spell, uh, yeah, that's not needed, that's a horrible thing, it silences so you can't cast things. Chant is okay, and uh, these guys are okay. Aid is okay, but it's not really that important in Baldur's Gate 2. I'd rather go with a resist fire cold, because there is a lot of elemental attacks. Um, in all of these cases the temperature affects the creature. Yeah, 50% resistance to cold and fire is okay, I guess, overall. So I'm gonna go with this guy. Third level. There is no doubt on what you can do here. You have Strength of the One, but it's useless since you can have Holy Power here. You have uh, Guild of Warding, which is okay, but not really that much, no. Uh, dispel magic is okay, miscast magic is okay, but you need to be a higher level than the cast the other guy that you cast it on. Otherwise, it will prove eventually not very clever to use. Son of Sweetwear basically just uh, cleans up the uh, the area of uh, cloud cloud effect spells. Might evil is okay, it d deals some damage because, but still, it's a level up damager, so it's not that good. Protection from fire grants almost immunity to fire, which is good against some fire-based creatures, but what I'm gonna go with is these guys. Now, these guys aren't anything in particular until level 15. They can prove aid, but on level 15 they become a really big deal, since they become skeleton warriors. Onwards! Here, what do we have? We have holy power, which is very good. It's super, super good. 
and we have protection from evil radius 10 feet, I presume. Other than that, I think these two are my favorite level 4 spells, so that's what I'm gonna put here. I know that there aren't plenty of healing spells right now, but we don't really need them until we get heal. So I'm gonna go with this guy and this guy. Why? This improves the armor class of by 2, protects us against some cases, fiends in particular. And what else? It lasts one turn per level of the caster. That's one minute per level. That's a lot! That's a lot of duration, and it casts on the whole party, so that's very good. Holy Power, as we said, grants ta uh, strength 18-0-0, which is the highest 18 score for fighters. His taco becomes that of a fighter of the same level, and he gains one temporary hit point for every level until he has attained. For every level he has attained. And lasts for one round per level. This is six seconds per level. Now what this means is basically that in combination to Righteous Magic and Draw Upon Holy Might, you not only can have 25 strength even if your normal strength is free, but you also can get a lot of health, a lot of damage and everything good. Now, 26 minutes has passed and we haven't done anything yet, so I think we should have a move on right now. Uh, all this stuff. No, wait! Not done everything. Not done everything. Sorry about that. Mom! Hannah, legs and hands, I have hands again. I'm free of this horrible place, thank you so much. I must... Duran! I hope my son hasn't gone far. Mama's on her way! Exclamation mark. I think I, I know how I'm gonna name this episode. Too bad that I will forget eventually before rendering and stuff will happen. Thanks for saving my mom, sir. Papa will be so happy. Oh, so you didn't do it for yourself, you did it for your father, huh? Hypocritical bastard! Whatever. Let's go to the adventures mod. Don't even think about trying to. Actually, you gave me a good idea, Mr. Guard Mister. What's my um, pickpocket skill? 40? Well, he has 25. I'm better in all cases. I'm saved the game. What I'm gonna do now is attempt to pickpocket Tribald, which is probably gonna fave nine, fail 9 times consecutively. Oops, a daisy! That's bad. If that happens, reload. You will die. Pre-record. You will die very fast. Trust me. It shall be. God damn it. Why doesn't quick load work here? I should be redefining the controls. I mean, you can actually force uh, the Baldur's Gate 1 to actually learn itself to it use the be. the quick load button as Ctrl Y or Ctrl Z better for QWERTY keyboards. For those that don't know, I'm using a Quartz keyboard. I think that's standard German, but I have an Eastern European standard. I think Eastern European standard is Quartz in general. I'm not sure. Uh, I talk a lot. Uh, come on! Shall I buy you a potion of thieving? You ignorant thief. Ugh. Yes, yes. You are very strong, rival. No need to show off your skills. Besides, everyone in this this place is so powerful that I would die to just simply attempt to kill one of them. <sighs> Seems like I can't really steal good, huh? Did I see right? Is my pickpocket scored 40? Yeah. Maybe I will do it one time, one late, one time later. Because right now it it is logical to me that I can't do it. That's just yeah. There are some items we're interested in. Music to my ears. Let me sell you this guy. Minsk has nothing to sell. Yoshima has nothing. Uh, Eric has a ton of items to sell actually. Spells in particular. Now I could be erasing the spells from her book and then re relearning them again, but that's not really that useful right now. What we're gonna do now is search for a few items. Now this is gonna be great. I think I'm gonna buy this one. As well as the bracers of not armor class 4, but of armor class 3. Which should be here. Okay. Now, what spells does he have? Um, he has Breach. Breach is a very important spell. Uh, disables... Disables Stone Skin. So I'm gonna buy this even if it's super expensive. Okay. Now where is gonna go up and buy a Haste spell from the merchant right over here? 
Oh, I'm a peasant, am I? Well, you can say that to Ari. What is it that you sell? I'll take a look at your offerings. Blah, blah, blah. Now give me your haste, mage. Where you at, haste? Haste! Haste! Ah. <laughs> Very expensive. Okay. Nope, don't talk there. Okay. So, we have what we need. Now Ari needs to learn those. Do you hear me over music, by the way? I'm no, I have no idea if you hear... Sound. Nope. That, that seems like it's working this way. Okay, let's go out. Now we're gonna go to a, a inn, which is the Den of the Seven Volves. Vol Volves? Really? Veils. Veils, not Volves. <laughs> I'm reading wrong, sorry about that. No. There is a particular reason why I'm going in here. It is not just to heal myself up, but also... Let's in fact start healing up. Yes, for the glory of um, whatever you want. Okay. Now I think I have enabled uh, rest until healed. Yep. This is gonna be probably the first time I sleep. Let's do this. No, wait, no! Nothing, nothing. Wait, I forgot. Shut up! This, this is the most important part. Now after two of them you will basically be... Uh, should I? Yeah, I'm gonna put breach for one particular reason that I know of. Uh, I'm not a male, I'm a half elf! Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see, I'd like to see your services, let's sleep at the nobleman, it's expensive, but I don't care. Enjoy the animation! So apparently Bardock's Gate and Last Edition is going to have all new animations, so that's going to be great. I mean cinematics, of course. Anyway, I'm, I've, I've gone here for a one very big particular reason, which is a battle right over here. So, this battle is tricky, it, it, it is very hard. So what we're going to do now is hope that Yoshimo here is going to be able to set a trap. Okay. S the special snares from the uh, the uh, bounty hunter class can be s placed af from afar. Shimo, there you go. So we're gonna put three more. I think five is the limit. We're gonna put three more. I'm, I'm better at doing this. So I'm gonna put two here right now. Yes, yes, indeed. Perfect. And you, another one. Perfect. So, uh, this battle is very tough, so that's why I'm preparing already way uh, earlier. We're gonna cast some of these guys. Five is the limit to the cast creatures, by the way. So, I've apparently we'll have to cast all five of them right away. Fine by me. Okay. We're gonna get them closer, and we're gonna cast Protection from Evil Radius 10. Alright, now everyone in the party has a bet two armor class better score. Yeah. That's great news. What else we're gonna do? We're gonna put um, stone skin on her. We're gonna cast uh, nothing else actually. Oh, chant. We can cast chant, I guess. It doesn't last a long while, so hopefully everything will go, wa go well. Alright, so everyone is hasted now. Let me save the game. Things are gonna get nasty now. Yeah, I forgot about this. Uh. Alright, save a game. Alright, so now... You go here. We two are gonna to go the straight lines. Okay, so time passes when they speak, so I have to do this fast. I want them to persuade them into a battle. Okay, so exactly what I did happens now. Uh, Minsk is gonna go against Pookie, which is actually the toughest of all of these guys. I'm trying to do something clever now, and that is send the skeletons in against Me Mencar Pebble Crusher. What's the difficulty in crushing pebbles anyway? Silly guy. And Harry is gonna cast magic missiles on Pookie. Alright, let's do this. There's a lot of guys, yes, there is a plenty of guys. There is a thief that backstabs you, there is a berserker, 
There is Manker Pebble Clusher, there is a mage, and there is his familiar. Want all of these guys to attack that now. Okay, Yoshimo will add support to the uh, effort of killing Manker Pebble Crusher as soon as possible. <sighs> Let's see how this works. Aria, I think I ordered her to cast Breach on Pookie because Pookie casts himself Stone Skin. What do I do? I, I uh, attack Manker, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Oh, good! Minsk is confused. Minsk is gonna die. I have to go against that guy, and... Actually, I think Eri can handle that. What's injured state, okay? Yoshimo, attack Manker. I need to rescue Minsk fast. Ah, oh, drat! I think I could have done it without killing Minsk. Minsk dying. Let me reload. Ah, oh, damn it. What's the way to protect confusion, by the way? I've forgotten it. Uh. Alright, so next next, next way, next time, now, this time, we're gonna send actually the skeletons, Minsk and myself, to kill Pookie as soon as possible. Pookie's the biggest trouble here, okay? Let's do this. There we go, here. Alright. Yes, 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 yes. What? Dwarf? Okay. You two? On this guy. You five? On this guy. Harry, prepare yourself. Cast magic missiles on this guy. Oh! The... Okay, book is dead. Book is dead. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we want to take care of... Uh, you attack man Manker. Uh, the fifth goes last. That's my plan. We want to take care of the Berserker. If that guy goes, then everything should be fine. Yeah, it's a bit random right now, but it's okay. Okay, going okay. Um, going very okay. There's still the mage here, which is hidden, but that's not a problem. I would like to hold this guy, but it's impossible to do so. So I'm gonna go melee and surround him with the skeletons. These two skeletons. Alright, alright, everyone on this guy. Everyone on this guy! Why do I do this? Because he can run away. Okay, he's dead. Now everyone on the mage! Booyah! You suck, dude. You suck. Why didn't Harry cast the spell? Harry, cast the bloody spell. Oh, yeah, she can't because he's invisible. There! Done it! Did it, done it, did it. Gone. Perfect. Oh, gains, 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 gains. I love loot. I love loot, 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 loot everywhere. Loot! There's plenty of loot. Uh, okay. So actually, I need Minsk to loot with me. The hide armor we can't really use right now. I mean, I could use it, but not very useful. There is a trapped chest here, which actually yields nothing in particular. In fact, maybe these two chests might be trapped too, I have no idea. But what is important is the gains. We got a cloak of non-detection. We got a wand of lightning. We have a full plate mail for Minsk. That's very good. Then what else do we have? Um, we have a short sword plus one. We have a ring of invisibility, which is actually good for your Shimo, I guess. We have a studded letter plus I don't know what. Let's see if it's better than mine. I mean, the ring. You have to put down the ring. It's basically like I had the ring, but since... Uh, I'm gonna give it to your Shimo because the ring gives a saving throws bonus. There you go. A lot of potions, I'm gonna give them to the Minsk, because he had a lot of damage taken. This is cursed. This is the cursed sword of Berserking. It's not very useful to me. This helm I don't really need. This is a Warhammer plus one. We're gonna sell it. And this is Control Undead, which is a good spell overall. Not useful, but good. Warhammer plus one. Perfect. Yes. Now I can unlock these two guys. Get a jewel. And there you go. This is one of the toughest battles you can fight early on, but with the right approach you can do this easily, as you could have seen. 
Anyway, it's been 40 minutes now, so I'm gonna pause this right now. Thanks for watching and join me next time, whenever it's gonna be, with me playing Baldur's Gate Shadows of Anne. Until then, be well. Bye! This was the Gaming Show. Thanks for watching!